Harlem Globetrotters meet Snow White. Yeah, I could have made a clever transition to this animated TV special by saying it was produced by Hanna-Barbera, who had done a number of animated projects with the Globetrotters namesake. But no, I figured I'd just let the idea slam into your brain just like it did mine when I first found out about this. So without further ado, so the cartoon special opens up to the Queen's servant and the Queen herself, who looks a little like the Beetlejuice snake. Your Majesty, the Globetrotters are ready. Let the peasants wait. They will be rewarded by the opportunity to gaze upon the most beautiful woman in the land. History has never known beauty such as yours. Some time ago, there was one more beautiful than I. Not Snow White. Yes. After I disposed of her, there is no question that I am the fairest in Grimania. So they decide to give us the backstory on Snow White, the fairy tale that predates 1857. But they don't feel like explaining what the Harlem Globetrotters are doing in a fairy tale, which is true because we go straight to the basketball game. And you're probably asking yourself, why is there a basketball court in a medieval castle? Well, just shut up and watch these tricks. Carly, let's give them some comedy. Why, sure, geese. It's time to split! Arrest the Globetrotters! Throw them into a dungeon for life! But before the Globetrotters tour bus can hit 88... Wait, they have electronic controls for their gate? How do they have electronic gate controls? How do they have electronic... period? I'll handle this! Good evening, Count. Anything wrong? I am placing all of you under arrest in the name of the Queen! Haven't you heard the news? The Queen pardoned us for that unfortunate accident. What? Her Majesty's promised to save conduct out of the country. Why, she herself signed our exit visa. Your exit visa? I demand to see it. And by the way, what's an exit visa? Let me have that exit visa. Right on, geese. That's not an exit visa. You don't think so? Watch this. <laughs> Okay, why the hell do they have a car? None of this makes any sense. When is this occurring in time and space? I guess they decided to let us go. There's nobody coming after us. Well, apparently the queen just waited until morning to send out more of her, oh, of course. Of course they have helicopters. Man, this forest is thick. Not as thick as a dungeon wall. Yeah, with laser grid bars and giant robot apes made out of liquid metal. So yeah, the Globetrotters come across a little cottage nestled in the woods where we find, duh, Snow White. Did the Wicked Queen send you to find me? Lady, the Wicked Queen is trying to find me. What's your name? Hubert Geese Osby of the famous Holland Globetrotters. Oh, sure. Please, mister, I'm serious. I'm not jiving you, honey. I'm one of the Globetrotters, see? <laughs> Anyone could sew that on. Where are all the other Globetrotters? Right back there, uh, hiding in the woods. You expect me to believe that? No, it's because you're a 14-year-old rag child in the middle of 18th century Europe, and there is no way you could possibly know who they are. Unless you would like to explain how, or you could just show us more basketball tricks. Why not? You're the Harlem Globetrotters. Now, isn't that what I was trying to tell her? Oh, please come inside and stay for lunch. Oh, you must be tired. Won't you sit down? Oh, excuse me there, little miss, but how come your furniture is so small? Oh, it isn't my furniture. This house is owned by the Seven Dwarfs. They're off in the hills digging gold. The Seven Dwarfs? The Seven Dwarfs? Then you must be Snow White. I am? Oh, I mean, I, I am. I am. Well, no wonder she was suspicious of us. Yeah, that mean queen would use any trick to do away with her. And it wouldn't be the first time she tried it once before. Thank goodness the queen didn't succeed. Oh, I was lucky. A prince came along. Wait, what? A prince already came and woke her? Then what is she doing here? She should be with the prince, shouldn't she? Excuse me, I'm going inside to prepare your lunch. I've never seen such a teeny weeny weeny. <laughs> 
I prepared the same dishes I always serve to the dwarfs. Why? Why would you do that? They are clearly not the size of dwarfs, so it's just appropriate to give them more food, you bitch! What the hell's going on? I'll skip the main course. Let's see what the dwarves eat for dessert. Well, well, wouldn't you know it? Shortcake. Meanwhile, back at the castle... What do you have to report? The Globetrotters got away. Oh, you idiot! I assure your majesty they will all be clapped into a dungeon by nightfall. They'd better be, you bungling fool. If you fail, you'll find yourself in a goldfish bowl. Why? Why would he be in a fishbowl? Are you going to turn him into a goldfish? Or are you just going to shove him in there? Explain! Well, for some reason, the Globetrotters suspect that the Queen might be after Snow White. Again. So they offer to stay and protect her. But I think it's just because they want a place to crash. And by the way, where are the dwarfs? No? No one's going to answer that? Ah, whatever, just get on with it. Well, apparently the Trotters can see into the future, because just at that moment, the Queen looks into her magic, what the fuck is that? who is the fairest of us all. No! 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 What the fuck are they doing with all this technology? Is this the modern day? Do these guys just really like LARPing? Are they- are we in Latveria? Was there a cosmic disaster that plunged the Earth into an apocalyptic future ruled by sword and sorcery, and now the Harlem Globetrotters travel the land righting wrongs? Because if that's what's happening, then just tell me and I'll buy it! Please, something, anything! Well, getting back to the story, the Queen finds out that Snow White is still alive. Again! I will program the mirror to print out a formula for a super strong, surefire, everlasting sleep potion! <laughs> I shall deliver the poisoned apple personally. Aha! Smoke. Snow White must be home. No, it's just 420. So the Queen tries to trick Snow White with the same ploy, and for some reason Snow White is falling for it. Again. I love how her disguise doesn't cover her face at all. Only now she looks a little bit like the Joker. Oh, I'm just a poor old peasant woman. I have nice juicy apples for sale. I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to open the door. Please. Won't you buy one of my apples? Oh, the poor thing. I'm gonna buy one. Snow White, don't let that old voice fool you. She may be the Wicked Queen. That's true. I'll make sure. Ah, there you are, my dear. Oh, look at these lovely apples. Take them. They're free. But free. you just said! Luckily, the Harlem Globetrotters are there to stop Snow White from taking the poison apple this time. And instead, they offer her an apple that they pick themselves in the woods. <laughs> oh, and look! They're even teaching her a trick. Too bad she has no concept of gravity, as the Wicked Queen switches the apple that Snow White stuck out the window. So, her plan was to wait outside the window for... something, and she just lucked out. I did that very well. That's because she's so alert. This kid is really wide awake. Look at how completely non-comatose I oh, am. So Snow White is down again, but luckily a prince in disguise just happened to be walking by and looked in the window. Oh, wow. What a beautiful girl. I've got to meet her. Hello? Please, open the door. Go away, son. Where are you from, anyway? I love that line. It perfectly embodies the contradictory nature of this cartoon. Leave and answer my question. I'm from the neighboring country, Carpathia. Carpathia! Yes, this is Prince Rigo, the ruler of Carpathia in Moldavia. Bit of a sissy, isn't he? Perhaps the lady of the house would like to see my wares. If you don't mind waiting around for a hundred years. A hundred years? You see, Princess Snow White is under a spell. The only thing that'll wake her is a kiss from a handsome young prince. Your problem is solved. I am a prince. Wait a minute, my man. If you're a prince, why are you selling buttons and ribbons? I disguised myself as a peddler in order to learn how the common people live. 
No kidding? How we doing, your highness? Just let me wake Snow White with my kiss. That'll prove what I am. Hold on, you jab turkey. We know exactly what you are. One of them fast-talking traveling salesmen who stoop to any trick just to make out with the rural chicks. Does that happen often enough where you come from? Yes, the old say I'm a prince to make out with the comatose ploy. So, after they kick the prince out, they come up with an even better idea. There's a fairy tale about a princess who found a frog in this very forest. But he really was a prince who'd been changed into a frog by a mean witch. Keep on talking, Mom. Only the touch of a prince's hand could change the frog back into a prince. I didn't know that. Fellas, what we gotta do is find a frog and put it in Snow White's hand. Good plan. What could possibly go wrong? Very funny. Meanwhile, the prince heads off to get his proof when he happens to run into the evil queen and completely blabs about his plans to wake Snow White to her. Only a Carpathian! You're the Prince of Carpathia. Yes, Your Majesty. I'm off to change into my royal garments. When I return, I shall wake the sleeping princess with my kiss. You look good in green! Hey, it's the same ring as the one in Troll. I'll just stand perfectly still as this cloud of evil envelops me. You're a frog! Hmm, she turned him into a frog to stop him from waking Snow White. So then how is the super potion any different from the regular potion? Because shut up. Meanwhile, back at the cottage, the Queen's men are loading Snow White in their car and taking her back to the castle for safekeeping. So then the Globetrotters come back and find out from the now frogified prince that the queen has taken Snow White. So the Trotters plan a daring rescue mission, break into the castle, and immediately get captured. I know you came here to rescue Snow White. Very well. Tonight you will play against my Gravanian team. Should you win, I will return Snow White to you and allow you to leave unharmed. Why don't you just kill him? But should you lose, you will all be thrown into the dungeon. Why don't you just shoot him now? I mean, I'll go get a gun. We'll shoot him together. It'll be fun. Bang! Dead. Done. Your Majesty, Romania has no basketball team. We'll have one tonight. Leave that to me. I have a gun in my room. You give me five seconds, I'll get it. I'll come back down here. Boom! I'll blow their brains out. Well, it turns out LeBron chose Miami, so the Queen had to go with her backup plan. Animating a team of flying, fire-breathing gargoyles. Am I having a nightmare? My sentiments exactly. So just when it's like there's no hope, the Globetrotters come up with a brilliant plan! In this, use our exhibition tricks. Okay, why weren't you doing that before? I, who cares? Just put it on the pile. Okay, really? I know you're playing against gargoyles and evil magic, but at this point when you start throwing stuff, you might as well just take a steel pipe on the court and start beating the crap out of them. Now with the score tied and five seconds on the clock, Curly gets ready to take the final shot. Shoot it, man! You can do it! Your Majesty, if he makes this, they win! Never! My magic forces disapprove! Curly Neo, you cannot move! To my surprise, that is not the most unreasonable thing to happen in this cartoon. So the prince wakes up Snow White, and Snow White turns the prince back to normal. And thank you, Snow White. Your kiss transformed me back into a prince. Will you come to Carpathia? Yes. Oh, yes. That sounds just super. Hey, that settles everything, Your Majesty. With Snow White out of Romania, you once again be the fairest in the land. Geese, you have just scored another winning point. Very well. You may all leave with my blessings. Oh, yeah! 
By now, she should be out of the country. I'll check to be sure. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of us all? Sorry, Queenie, but as you can see, ain't nobody prettier than old caramel colored me. Oh, oh I hate this mirror. I'll never use it again. Just a little joke, folks. Right, fellas? All right, right. No white honey, that is a no-no. Now wave goodbye. Yeah, she probably has brain damage from all the comas she's been slipping into. Either that or she was trying to put herself out of her misery. And I can't really blame her, because just wow. It's poorly executed and confusing as hell. There's nothing that tells you when this is supposed to be taking place, and no indication whether it's satire, parody, or farce. And the characters just seem to say and do random things. And really, with all the Harlem Globetrotter stories you could have done and have done, did this story really need to be told? When everything was said and done, nothing really seemed accomplished. Well, yeah, but at least I got rid of all those damn nicks.